Rick, thanks. Joined by Indiana quarterback Richard Lego. Richard, this was our first time that we really got a chance to look at Mike DeBoer's offense. I think there's been some speculation as to how it would be similar, how it would be different to what you guys have been running before. How do you describe this offense to people who haven't seen it before? I mean, it's very explosive offense. We like to go fast, um, high tempo. You know, like I, like I said, at media, our philosophy is PET. It stands for protect the ball, have explosive plays, tempo. So that's what we want to do, you know. Uh, we want to take what the defense gives us, but at the same time, we want to really stretch them out and, and put them in binds with certain things that we do. Coach DeBoer mentioned that probably the biggest change in le from last year's offense will be the pass game. How's it pass game change for you? Yeah, I think uh, we did we did a lot of RPO stuff last year, uh, and we're not doing as much this year. It, it's more um, traditional drop back. You know, that there's more things that go into my reads uh, as opposed to last year. It might have just been one key. Uh, now there's multiple things. So, um, you know, they really pushed me to, to develop my mind, um, which has helped me a lot, and it, it's looking pretty good. Has that been able to help you take care of the football a little better, knowing that you had some other options out there? It, it has. You know, if I don't have to force anything. I, I know I always have a check down no matter what. So if pocket gets collapsed or I, I just don't like it, get off of it check it down to the back. Coach always talks about the breakthrough. Explain to us what that means. Breakthrough is, is an everyday process. It's not... You know, just what you see on the field. It's how you come into the meetings, how you go into the weight room, uh, little things like clean up the locker room, all that stuff. Um, as far as on the field, it's making the plays when they're there to be made and, and when you need them the most. You know, he says all the time, competitive greatness, being at your best when, when you need it the most. Uh, so, you know, that, that's what it is to us, making those plays in the fourth quarter, third quarter. Uh, so instead of those games slipping out of our hands, um, they come in. You know, it's our, it's our game. At that point, we make those make those plays. Hey, I know you like to throw it around, make those big plays. But how about when you hand it off to the backs? So what are the backs doing to really, do you think, going to be able to make that impact for you this year? Yeah, I mean, they're all really physical runners. You know, there's a bunch of different styles when you look at our running back room. Um, and there's, I don't even know how many are on the roster. It seems like there's eight of them that <laughs> could, could go in at any time, you know. Uh, but they're all smart, hardworking guys. Um, I love coming to work with them every day. And, they always have a smile on their face. It's, you know, it's, I think every team, the running back group, is, is one of the you know, just happiest groups on the team. You know, it's, so they're all doing well, and it, it's fun to watch them compete with each other um, and push each other to get better. I know Coach Allen gave you some reading material in the offseason. What book that he gave you resonated the most with you? Uh, make Your Own Bed, or Make Your Bed, is the one that, that I like the most. It was actually one that he gave to a few of the guys on the team. Um, and it's just, you know, it... It's about a you know ex military man that first thing you learn you know when you get to the military is make your bed in the morning that's the first thing you do when you get out of bed um, and it just it gets your day started the right way and then from there you just keep having more positive days and you build those days uh, on top of each other and uh, those days turn to weeks and then months and it just keeps going. Uh, Richard Lego, Indiana quarterback. We need to get reading material for this group in the offseason, too. That'd be a fun thing Coach to do, Allen's right? Man. <laughs> you be careful with Donardo reads I over there. <laughs> share it with you guys on the bus. All right. Yeah, look forward well, to that. Well, share with us now. Uh, uh, maybe not. I think, we, I, think, I think we're pressed for time. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Richard Lego, this was fun. Good luck this year. Thanks Thank for spending you. a few Thanks. minutes with us.